everyone! Today I wanted to talk about target panic, which is a condition that affects a lot of archers, including myself. Target panic is a psychological condition affecting an archer when they shoot, um, and this can cause them to lose focus on their form, um, and this can show up in different forms for different types of people. Some people find that they shoot without aiming, or they can't fully draw their bow, or they have a difficult time holding their form steady. Um, some people might even release the bow early before they've reached their anger point or have like a jerky release. Personally, the form of target panic that I experienced was not being able to draw my bow fully and I later released too early through the clicker. And this can be really frustrating and discouraging, especially when it's kind of your emotions against yourself. And then it's an ongoing process and sometimes I still have to deal with it as well. But today I want to share some tips about addressing this target panic so that you can overcome it faster or you can help someone overcome their target panic faster. So the first step is knowing the cause. This step is really important because to overcome your target panic, you need to find the root of what, why you feel like it's happening. Um, personally, for me, it was because I was way too focused on the score, what was happening over over there on the target rather than my form and how, how I was going through the shot process. Um, this could be the case for you or it could be something else like you're afraid of missing the target completely or that you're anticipating your shot rather than kind of letting it flow through smoothly. But whatever it is, I suggest that you try to narrow it down as much as possible because at the end of the day, that's the fear you're going to have to address to get over your target panic. So step two is actually addressing the issue. There's about four or five-ish common remedies that I've seen that archers most commonly use. One method is blank bill shooting, which can be used for far distances or close distances. And I can recommend this for a couple months. If your target panic is pretty bad, like if the sight of a target immediately triggers that in you, it's a good way to back off and start from the basics before you decide to add a target. So the next step I would try is shooting on a target, but only close up. And this would be a good step to take after the previous one, or you can just start here if you're fine with just shooting close up on a target and really take the time to build your confidence at shorter distances. And then you would try to increase the distance little by little. You could also try shooting without a clicker and just detach it and count in your head if the clicker is that's making your target panic worse. And I recommend this if you're shooting through the clicker or if you're anticipating it too much. Another method to try is taking the siphon out of your sight and just leaving that black circle on there. This one's good if you think you too focused on aiming or if you have trouble aiming. So a final part that I'd like to share is what worked for me best. Uh, personally, I've tried most of these steps and some advice I have to give is that at every method you try, what's really important is building your confidence back up through that method rather than trying to be good or like get better using that method. Also, I would really take your time with these steps. Don't try to rush it. Target panic isn't going to be fixed in like a day or a week. And even for me, it's an ongoing process. So don't be too frustrated if it doesn't click right away. Um, and for me, it really helped to keep reminding myself not to take every single arrow so seriously. Like even if you made a mistake on the shot, you move on, reflect on it for like three seconds and then just go to your next arrow. And the surest way to overcome your target panic though is at competitions. It is kind of ironic, but once you overcome your target panic in such a high pressure situation, it'll stay with you a lot longer than if you just try to overcome it just in practice. Um, a final tip is that if you're hyper-focusing on something like your draw or your anger, try to focus on something else that you're really good at. Um, a lot of archers do this even if they don't have target panic in competitions and they just focus on their solid left push or they're really confident about where they're anchoring or they're shooting. I hope that helped you guys a little bit address your target panic or the steps you need to take to address your target panic. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have your own experience or helpful advice or experience you'd like to share with everyone else. Um, that's the end of the video, so thank you guys so much for watching.